Okay, here we have a Norman Cruiser for sale and a Mercury engine which here a Mercury outboard engine, two stroke petrol um, you mix in the oil with the petrol uh, 20 milliliters for every liter um, so yeah, let's take a look inside and this is um, the area under the hood, this hood comes down uh, there's the petrol tank there's the switch to switch the um, battery on when you're running the engine or need some power um, here's the Mercury engine there you go um, and these lock up you can do two locks you've got two locks on here um, something does and in here you've got um, the cabin as you see it's actually quite spacious you could sleep two people in here um, it's perfect in the summer but in the winter it's a little bit <laughs> cold you would want to install um, a uh, stove if um, he was going to live there in the winter but in the summer and the spring and autumn it's fine um, it's good for day trips um, I mean you could practically live on it in the summer uh, as you can see it's got um, it's got a sink um, it's not got a water tank but you could put a water tank in there for a five or something buy a cheap water tank just stick it under there um, cupboard put all, got all my cleaning stuff in there at the moment um, and another cupboard area where you put all your stuff in um, you can put what you want in there as you can see the wiring needs sorting um, the uh, the boat runs fine without the wiring but if you want to use the electrics on board um, you, um, you'll need to sort this wiring out um, it's got a fire extinguisher proper fire extinguisher what they recommend um, a fire blanket uh, carbon monoxide detector you might need a new um, fire alarm I'm not sure if that's working properly because I've got a battery in it at the moment um, so let's see it um, let's see it working um, before you start the engine you need to take the hood down so get out the boat it's a bit muddy at the moment um, so yeah do that up and the hood comes down quite easily and it goes up easy as well so yeah unclip those there you go unclip that you can do those up as well and then just let it let it go down like that um, and then you want to tuck these bits in for when, when you're going through locks you don't want to get stuck in the lock bag there a second oh yeah and if you haven't used the engine for ages you want to um, shake the oil tank up because to make sure the oil and petrol is mixed together fine okay before you shake it up make sure the obviously the lid is on give it a bit of a shake you only need to do this if you haven't started the engine for a long time but I'm just just showing you there so and put it back in like that so yeah and also if you're having um trouble starting it um loosen this to let the pressure out so after you check it up, yeah. So that do it back up again a bit. Uh, switch this on. Pull down this to start the gets the engine. Um, oh yeah, this is the fuel pump. 
so make sure that's fairly solid give it a few don't do it too much just wait till it's quite solid uh, and then also in the winter you probably want to pull the choke out and push it in and out a few times because when it's cold this is you know this will help it start a lot easier it should start first time when you do it this way um, and then obviously you get the keys so you still have to turn the ignition but it's actually um, a string starter I pull the fast starter lever that helps it start as well in the winter um, so now we're ready to start there we go almost first time okay let it warm up a little bit then put the choke back in that's the choke Okay, so then pull that down, the fast lever down that is, and then we're ready to go. Just got to undo the ropes. And there you go. So, oh yeah. Don't forget this, don't want this caught up in the um, motor at the back. So put that in and you're ready to go. So this is the rever reverse forward. Um, so I go forward and the steering wheel, you turn to which way you're actually going, like in a car on this boat. So now yeah, we're moving now. So, there we go. As you can see, uh, this, I mean, this will go, this will go a lot faster in this, but the maximum speed on the canal is um, four miles per hour. So, yeah, about as far as fast as you can go. Fine, and as you can see, it's good. Running, um, so yeah. Um, Hope you like the video of the boat. I just to show you the back. Yeah, sort of going good. Yep. So quite easy to navigate. 